So what is going on YouTube? My name is Meho and welcome to your 12th angular and uh, sorry rather ionic tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at uh, how we can implement the login functionality with our Firebase application. Well we already did the registration part which is kind of the 50% of the application but uh, let's just implement the login functionality here as well. Now again for the login part we're going to send the username and password of the user back to Firebase so that Firebase can authenticate that and we're going to do that by injecting the angular fire dependency inside our project so I'm going to say private fire uh, angular fire auth and now we have access to the fire object so we're going to say this dot fire dot auth dot sign in with email and password now what this would do is that this would again return us a promise and this dot password dot value which would consist of the data sent by firebase for the authentication part now for the most part we do not need this data anyways so you can just completely ignore that because behind the scenes when you fire this function sign in with email and password firebase would automatically log you in with the, this username and password this email id and password if it is valid now what happens is that your in your application firebase is also running that right now in the background right as a websocket so all that authentication part is actually managed by firebase itself and not your application so you do not need to worry about that so once you hit that what you're gonna get is some random random bunch of data so got some got some data and data goes here and this time user is logged in otherwise we're gonna get an error and we're gonna get a lot of errors because there might be some nasty user which just enters a wrong email address well technically you should be validating email address before sending to firebase because that would kind of create a delay where you could have actually just shown user alert in real time so what we can do is actually just write here console dot log got an error an error right here hit save and we should be good to go so just let it build and uh, we're gonna see how that works and for the authentication part right now we have got our username or rather email address as meholmpd at the gmail.com and the password would be meholmpd only so i'm going to say meholmpd at the gmail.com and the password is meholmpd let's just or rather we are in the wrong menu right so we want to log in at the gmail.com and meholmpd let's just hit sign in and you can see that we get we would sign in with this thing and we get got some data and that looks promising because that is a lot of data again just like I said so now what we do well you are actually logged in right now so if you do something like this dot fire dot auth dot current user so you would actually get the actual user which is now logged in right now and you could access properties like get email address right something like that and you could access the display name as well if they provide something or if you want to provide make them provide that field while registering you can do that so now we have got this but uh, this is not really user friendly way right so what we're going to do is we're going to create another function right here saying alert and let's just say this is just a message uh, we're going to say something like we can do just like this is string and we can do something like this dot alert control dot uh, rather just as first import that so that we get some help so we're gonna again just import the alert controller alert controller right there we're gonna inject that as well private alert controller is alert controller and we're gonna make use of dot create right here which accepts the options okay so we are out of luck so what we do now we go to components and we go to alerts now this is one of the benefits of ionic lab as well you can just search from right there so we can just create an alert with all these information just copy this paste it right here we're gonna say info and right here we can just instead of subtitle we can say message and buttons okay dot present 
just like that so now we can simply say if we take a look inside our application we can say right here if we are logged in this dot alert success you are logged in and uh, then finally we can just say this dot nav control dot set root as some logged in page right and then finally for the catch bar we can say this dot alert and we can just say error dot message now this error dot message contains that message value or whatever error that it came across so let's just save this and take a look now how this looks like and actually we have some error because we have not created logged in page so let's just import logged in page or rather let's just keep it logged in instead because we're gonna get some pro trouble then from logged in slash logged in logged in just like that and we can just hit our terminals to say um, ionic generate page logged in and we should have the page logged in right now so we can just by the time go to app module and uh, import that page as well so we're gonna say logged in and same thing right here logged in and finally we're gonna need that right here as well there we are and now for the logged in part we can say something like uh, right here we can say hey hey user and for this part we can just say email of the user so that we are just sure that we are showing this page to the right person so we can now create this dot email as a or rather just email as a string and right here we can again inject private fire as angular fire auth and we would finally implement well that's kind of a boring task to do manually so anyways angular fire auth and there we go so we're gonna finally say finally finally say this dot email is equal to this dot or rather we can just do it fire dot auth dot current user dot email just like that okay let's just finally save this and take a look what we have got here so I'm gonna clean this a little bit and there we are so I'm gonna sign in mpt at the rate gmail.com mehul mpt only let's just sign in you can see that we get a success you are logged in and we got the email address as mehul mpt at the rate gmail.com sweet now we can do the same thing again if we reload this app because I have not implemented the back button there we can register another email or rather let's just keep it easy admin.com something like this and admin123 Oh, admin one two three right there register okay we have got the data again we can just make use of that in the registration as well so we were gonna just copy this uh, where we have the login.ts this alert function inside our register.ts I'm gonna paste it right here uh, we're gonna finally Oh man, this is crazy. I'm gonna get the alert controller. Uh, okay, okay. Alert controller from Ionic Angular. And there we are finally. This dot alert uh, register. And this dot alert error dot message. Just like that. Ooh, okay so let's just finally now take a look at this application so there we are uh, let's just clear this 
for the moment let's just register some user which is a bad email address again let's hit register you can see that we get the email address is badly formatted and this is sent by firebase to us so you might want to do it yourself but uh, i'm just going to keep it like that and admin one two three register you can see that we got info registered pretty cool now we go back sign in uh what we had there some user yeah i forgot some user at the rate gmail.com and admin one two three hit sign in you can see that we get success you are logged in with some user at the rate gmail.com and at the back end if you take a look we do have some user at the rate gmail.com registered with us so that is how pretty much you would create a very basic login application with ionic angular and firebase so i would have this code ready for you in the repository linked below so you can just download it and mess around with it if you want to and yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and if you want to support this content there's a patreon link in the description so please feel free to go to it and support if you can so yeah that's all for this one and i'll see you then in the next one